about a 5 to 7% improvement. If absolute maximum performance is the goal, the OC might still be appealing here, but the undervolted RTX 5070 Ti remains the sweet spot for gamers wanting excellent performance without having to pay such a high cost in power and heat. Next up is Horizon Forbidden West at 1440p very high settings. The undervolted RTX 5070 Ti continues to show great results, landing comfortably between stock and overclock in both performance and power efficiency. The undervolt consistently delivers about 3-5% higher FPS compared to stock, while significantly reducing power consumption, drawing roughly between 185 to 195 watts compared to the stock's 220 to 235 watt range. While the overclock manages to push FPS even further, that does come at the expense of higher power draw off and hitting around 240 to 260 watts. Finally, taking a look at Lies of P, which is the last game, at 1440p, best settings, we see another solid showcase for undervolting. The undervolted 5070 Ti sits comfortably between the stock and overclock configs, delivering a notable FPS uplift around 4-5% compared to stock, while power usage stays significantly lower, typically hovering around the 215 to 230 watt versus the stock's higher 245 to 265 watt draw. While the overclock pushes the highest frames here, hitting upwards of 280 FPS, that does come with a steep power penalty, often closing to 280 to 300 watts. Yet again,